Hey guys, this is Tom Box. I just dropped the top tier timeline and Konami decided to go, hey, let's just drop a ban list. All right, you know, no big deal. It's not like it's going to conflict with your views or anything. If you guys can help me do a huge favor, check out that uh, top tier timeline, which took me two weeks to make. It is a very long research process. Appreciate it. Anyways, today's my one raw take Yu Gi Oh! ban list. I think it came out. I was in a meeting the entire time. My phone was going off, so I had to shut it off. Even like my phone says, like, hey, there's a hundred notifications on here. So. You know what, whatever it is, I couldn't open those notifications. I don't want spoilers. So one raw take. I'm not even going to edit this, and it is what it is. So here we go. I'm expecting that uh, it's going to be a big list. And Forbidden Limited List September. Mm, September. Okay, this is clearly not it. This is updated, what, in September 15th? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. This is still the Arise Heart one. What the hell? Wait, hold on a second. Do I still have my reaction cam? Yeah, I still have it. Okay, Konami, you guys really need to update your sites. Like, in sync, it's really... Wait, how do I get back to the... the, the... I gotta go to the Europe side. Not my intention. Sorry, guys. Is, we're not even in the reaction part yet because we haven't even seen a list. Okay, this is the, this is the Europe site. Um, product news. Fire... This is... Tokyo Dome, no. Sorry, I don't navigate your site very often, so I'm just trying to figure out where it is. Play. Oh, quick links. Why is this not part of advance for play? Okay, whatever. Uh, forbidden and limited card list. Okay, here we go. Uh, updated on the, the latest update on card limitation tournament play. Updated, okay, January. Next year. Starting next year, we get a new ban list. All right, got it. Latest. Oh. Okay, so Agito and Kelbeck are banned. Okay, is this all the banned stuff? Is this all the changes? Okay, maybe I want to go for the forbidden stuff, so it's a little bit more exciting. Otherwise, it's just not going to look good. You know, let's just do it this way. Agito, okay. One of the fairies are gone, and I already saw Kelbeck, so Kelbeck's also gone too. So, Tierlman taking a severe hit here. I'm going to do a damage report and everything, probably, uh, and I'll see how much I can do. And uh, Masterpiece is still banned, of course. Uh, Mathmax Circular. Oh, my God. I feel like, Josh, you had some hand in this. You really dislike this card. Now it's gone. Congratulations. The power of a world champion. You get to ban some cards, except Maxi is still here. Uh, a soul tale of two noble knights. Huh. Well, to be honest, I didn't think this was going to take a hit. Maybe it was going to get limited, but I guess it was big enough. The Exodia decks are screwed. That's for sure. I'm sorry, Jeff Leonard. Your your deck is now... You're going to have to find a new way to do it. Uh, let's put it that way. Electromite's still banned. And uh, these are into links. We don't even have a Pendulum card. We Is that guy still banned? No, the Pendulum's... Uh, here it is. No, Kieran's still banned. Uh, a Soul, Tale of Two Noble Knights. Yeah, that's, infer that's an Infer Noble hit. The com Wow, people are just getting their combos cut short. Uh, Rise are still banned. Nothing really new here. Well, I guess we'll, we'll check it out. I wanted to get the release stuff. Uh, so far, Tierlements and Infernoble taking a fat sack. Okay. Well, they're getting sacked. Not they're getting fat sacked. Um, ooh! Is this the button? Yeah, ooh! Anyways, go back here. Uh, Harp Horror taking... Well, taking a W right here. Uh, coming back to one. Redox coming back to one. Oh no! Airlifter! Oh. <laughs> Airlifter is uh, limited. Well, it's either that. You can't really hit all the new cards. Airlifter is a very strong card. There's going to be some rerouting in the combo. Maybe I'll cover it in the damage report. Uh, Airlifter getting hit like that. Well, it is a rare card, so not, not, not to be unexpected. You guys can check for rarity, really, uh, when it comes to this stuff. Unchained Soul Shivara. You know what? This is a good hit. Except, wait, can I just go back for one second? There's no Beatrice hit. I honestly thought it was going to be a Beatrice hit. I didn't even get to put out my ban list prediction. I wish I just put my list next to this while I did it. But I thought Beatrice was going to get banned because of transaction rollback. We're going to have a pretty nasty uh, first bit. Uh, yeah, so anyways. Ooh, we got some Rika Sun Avalon hit, Dry Ass, and uh, Sunvine Healer. This makes the combo impossible, doesn't it? Don't you have to use two Dry Asses in there? Just so that you can maintain a name and Sunvine Healer as well. Okay, that's a pretty big one. These are pretty big for that one. But 
you still have double jasmine. So I think if you're smart, you'll probably be able to rework it. I think the person to look forward to that is probably Jessica. Uh, then there is a World Chalice Justice Star. I have a copy of this. I don't know how impactful this is. Are we going to go back to Draco Net? It feels like we're going to go back to Draco Net, but I, I guess we'll find out. Uh, I, I like this card. This card's really, really good. If I can find a way to play it, I probably would. Maybe I can play it in, in Rescue Ace if I can find a way. Oh, okay. Snatch Steel. To, wow. You guys unbanned it and then banned it. And now you just unbanned it again. Okay? Like, wait. There's a card missing here. Oh, whatever. Um, goes and match. Oh, all the floodgates. Goes and match, rivalry, warlord, and there can be only one. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> no no more sitting back and floodgating your opponent. Wow, Konami's really taking this floodgate stuff seriously. Next, semi limits. Ooh! Oh! This is probably one of my most happy, like, unbans, quote unquote. It's it's Pankratops. Pankratops is such a flexible card. I love this card. And destroying card isn't exactly the most optimal way of breaking stuff, but this is one of the more flexible cards. I love it. I love every part of this. You know what? I'm super on board, 100%. Uh, what else we got? Mm, Speed Roid Terror Top. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, who, who's making rank threes these days? Sleepy memory to two. That's a slap on the wrist. Come on. That's a slap on the wrist. All right. Pearly players, you're still around. I really thought they were going to put Sleepy to run and just do the whole OCG treatment to Pearly players, but not today. Release. Infernity Archfiend. Cash Tier Unicorn. Okay. I kind of expected that. Mind Control. Wait. So you have Snatch Steel and Mind Control. So you have three Mind Control and um, one Snatch Steel. And then you can play Triple Tack. You know, let's just play a deck of just taking opponent's cards. All right, let's just do that. Let's just play a deck of just stealing your opponent's cards. Uh, Pot of Desires to three. I, I feel indifferent about that. Uh, Spell Book of Judgment, indifferent. Infernity Archfiend is kind of neat. I want to see if people are going to start making nasty Infernity Archfiend combo. But I think I can kind of tie this in with the Upstar Goblin. Like, this is actually quite hype. This is like the Hoban triple Upstar package. However, the same reason why Archfiend is at three is I think the same reason why Upstar is at three. We're expecting to be in a drone lock grid format now. Because now the risk of doing Upstar Goblin is one, you're losing time. Two, if you get drolled, your hand turn really will suck this time. It will actually suck. It's not like you get to play around it anymore. You're you're screwed. Drawing one card is uh, not 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 looking too hot. And it also got Sprite Starter. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, most of your most significant plays are kind of gone. Like the toad stuff is gone. You can still build board. I think still a full on combo deck. Now, less so control. I might actually go back to Sprite just for a little bit, just because I started going to three. Because uh, one of the biggest losses in the previous list was that they lost Gamma in the e Telly package, but getting their third starter back, I'm guessing they're just reintroducing, giving Sprite just a little bit more hope. Uh, aside from that, upstart to three, man, we're going to see so many Jordan Lockbirds. I think Jordan Lockbirds is going to be literally main deck in everyone's deck now. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to use the button. I tested the button, and I forgot to use the button. That's freaking great. Uh, yeah, damage report wise, let's, uh, let's go over which deck I'm going to go through damage report. Tier Laments, I'm just going to write this down. I, I want to start a notepad. Tier Laments for sure. Uh, Math Mech. <laughs> there's not really much to cover for Math Mech. Tier Laments, Math Mech, uh, Infernoble. Man, there's a lot of damage here. This is, this is the big list that we've been waiting for. The win is Harp Horror. Uh, Rescue Ace, I'll put it at the end. And Unchain. I think those are the... F oh, even Sun... Oh, there's six decks on the damage report today. Ugh, I, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna structure that. There's just so many decks to get hit by. Like, what the hell? That's so cool. Let's check the latest. I guess this is the summary. Every single hit that we have here. I'm sorry, I'm not, like, as exaggerated as most other people, but this is just, like, how I take on a ban list. I just like to read it and not really react to it that much. I, I am very excited for Pancratops. It makes side decking a lot more interesting. I am a little sad for there can be only one because I started to um, side it a little bit more. But you know what? You can't cheese a free win all the time. But what they did not hit is Summon Limits. So if you guys want to replace it, Summon Limits, your your best best bet. And aside from that, no, that's everything. Stay tuned for the damage report coming up. Um, Aside from that... Well, hopefully you guys check out the top tier timeline. Took two freaking weeks to make it. And I got to go back to work now. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.